Hey guys, this is Shyam from Simplex and today we are going to make a video on PC gaming. Now, we all know PC is called the master race, but is it the master race? Well, let's think of it. We can only call something the master if it can truly conquer every other field. So I mean, will the PC be able to use something of the PlayStation 4 category and bring in the Xbox you know the console experience also let's think of it can the pc do it we will find out after the intro so this video is about using the playstation 4 controller and mapping it just like an xbox 360 controller and then using it on your pc but why will I actually use a PlayStation 4 controller over an Xbox 360 controller? Why, Shan? Why? Well, I have an answer for you. This controller has a touchpad, which essentially will function like a mouse. Not only that, we will make a follow-up video as to how to use the PlayStation 4 controller and something that the Xbox 360 controller does not have that this has. It's called a gyroscope. So, remember we made a video on YouTube 360? Well, we will also show you in the follow-up video of this video as to how to control a 360 video and experience it by just moving your controller instead of using the mouse on your desktop. So, are you guys ready? Let's get started with, firstly, the PlayStation 4 controller and the DS4 Windows startup. So guys, I'm going to take you, I'm going to walk you through rather the process of setting up your PlayStation 4 DualShock controller for your computer. Let's get started. New window and I'm going to type DS4 Windows. So I've already been to this website, so it was there. Anyway, DS4 Windows by js 2 kings This is where you want to head to to download the software. Next, use your PS4 controller on your PC to its full potential. Truly so. Download now. Click on this. Now you'll be greeted with a list of versions. Version 1.4.401 is the latest version. So I will click on this. But I already have it downloaded. So either you click on this or right click. Save link as. Okay. Once that is done, head over to your downloaded section. So in my case, it's downloads. There you go. DS for Windows.zip. Right click extract to ds4 windows i've already done that and the folder is present double click on this ds4 windows.exe now my controller is already connected and if your controller isn't connected uh, it's my, my one is connected via bluetooth uh, you can also connect it via micro usb cable now there are loads of tutorials of how to connect it via micro usb cable you can go through it I have already paired it via Bluetooth and then you can basically in the first time you boot up you'll be greeted with a screen where they, they will sense the controller, they will install the drivers for you. So go through that process. Now I'm gonna dive into the cool stuff. This is the these are the profiles. I've got a custom 360, custom scroll, and normal games. In this video, I will just walk you through the normal game section. Right guys? Please don't be disappointed because I did not walk you through. There are loads of tutorials about how to set up. I want to explore the options, right? The cool things that you can do with this. This video, let's check out the normals, okay? Normal section. So, in the normal section, you'll see the, uh, the in this profile, you'll see a full layout of the DS4. So either you can, you know, go through DS, uh, click on each of these, or you can directly click a button on the DS4 to set up for that specific you know for that specific button you can lay, you know map anything so i'm going to show you one thing i'm going to lay out uh, sorry i'm rambling over here i'm going to click on the cross right and then check this out they're showing the equivalent xbox 360 controller layout which is also present over here so yeah it looks the same the 360 layout so and then what they're doing is you can map to the cross button anything on the keyboard or the mouse okay or your 360 controller so in normal games profile what i have done in the normal games profile i have set up everything that is there in the 360 along with this and the only thing that i've tweaked a little is i have used 
the trackpad as a mouse. Now you should be able to see this very clearly. I'm using this as a mouse and quite a useful one. So I close this, I close this, I close everything with the mouse, right? So you can see I'm using the trackpad as the mouse. So these are the cool bits. Now I click on the PlayStation 4 button and my Steam starts in big picture mode. Now this is the super cool part guys. Now I'll click on the library and you see this is fully functional just the way I want it to be. So let's check out the games that you know I have installed and let's play some game okay. So let's go down go down which game do we, like would we want to play. Let's play say I don't know say Tomb Raider let's play Tomb Raider right. Play. So let's let the game launch. The game is starting guys so hopefully you find this cool. So you can also do the nifty you know the mouse stuff with the trackpad as you can see I'm moving the cursor along while it's rolling. Oh this is the old Tomb Raider brilliant. So I'll continue the old Tomb Raider only. So what you can see is I am moving around okay. You see with the right analog stick just like in the Xbox 360 and I can go around and I can do anything I want to and the best part the PlayStation 4 button it takes you to your Steam directly so you have a full blown you know a cohesive gaming experience with Steam and your games directly with this so quite an you know awesome feature to have and the best part is you can directly go and exit the game from Steam so that's what I will do close application yes and I close the game directly Thus guys, you saw how to use the PlayStation 4 controller along with DS4 Windows software and the cool things that you can do with it. Let us know what did you do, right? You know, maybe you did something crazy that we did not think of using the PlayStation 4 controller and your PC's combo. After all, it's all about the PC masteries, isn't it? So let us know. If you have any such cool videos in mind, then we can make such videos for you guys. And lastly guys, if you like this video, like this video. If you did not like it, dislike it. And most importantly, please subscribe to our channel down in the, you know, the subscribe button. Over and out.